Elizabeth, there's a lot about you that I don't know. Can you tell me what are some of your strongest musical influences? I have to say that, you know, I've lived in a lot of different places. I, I've lived, I'm from New York originally. I lived in Southern California. I have lived in the Midwest. And I think being involved in all of those different kind of musical communities has really sort of influenced the way that I think about my music. I think of it as being sort of transient in that sense, not really belonging to anything. And and that sense of sort of wanderlust in a way has uh, been really influential to kind of the way that I think about my music now and the way that I hope to think about it in the future. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the process of making a piece? You know, I usually start with a sort of idea, a small musical idea. Um, sometimes it's related to a sort of extra musical idea. I'm really interested in text and sort of the relationship between text and music. So often my music starts with a sort of poetic seed. Mm -hmm. From there, I sort of brainstorm based on this kind of small idea. I'm really interested in, in kind of color and kind of dynamic and dramatic sort of juxtapositions in music. So mm -hmm. that figures in quite prominently uh, to my kind of planning process. So there's this process of planning, this process of kind of really not knowing what is going on at all until I get to the very last bar and then the piece is done. It's a really difficult, painful process that then is, you know, extremely rewarding in the end.